Hi folks, this is Mr. Weston here from Mr. Weston Game Review, and because I don't have any sunnies on me, you're going to have to get in with this ugly look for a while. Now, a couple of days ago, I just got back from the EB Games Expo, and my goodness, it was awesome. A lot of exclusive games there. You got Halo 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which I sucked at. I only named a few Assassin's Creed 3, also awesome. A couple of things that was pretty, well, it was one of them actually, to explain how I went at the expo. The second reason I'm posting is because, despite the fact that I call myself a game reviewer, I have not reviewed one game yet. I've done two unboxings, a little gameplay, and that's it. So, I figured while, I'm, while I've got you here, I thought I might actually review a game without even playing it, actually. And for those of you who might know, it's pretty much the same story for the last few years. Pokemon Black 2. I've already had... I've got a couple of people who already have the Pokemon White 2, and they've probably already shown off their little coin. This is what you get when you pre-order it. This coin here. And it's actually pretty nice, actually. It's a proper coin. Not like one of those plastic things that you normally get. It's actually real glass that you've got in here. Actually, more perspex actually not glass but it actually does look very nice actually close up it's a very nice bacurium which is awesome so the reason so the reason why I'm not review not actually playing it before we review it is because it actually is the same story over again you go through you choose a starter you collect you basically capture Pokemon defeat a few gems become the champion and that's it but the difference between this one, the difference between Black 2 and White 2 and the other ones that have been released is because this generation does not actually have the middle game. For those of you who know the middle game, let's say Pokemon Black, uh, Pokemon Red and Blue had Pokemon Yellow, uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver had Pokemon Crystal, Red, no, no, not Red, uh, Ruby Sapphire had Emerald, Diamond and Pearl had Platinum. I think you can see where I'm going from here. So, Black Black Version 2 actually sets itself two years after you become champion of uh, Unova. And it's actually pretty nice, actually. The maps are different. The gyms are different. The Pokemon you catch in here are pretty much the same, although it's, this time it's not exclusive to Unova. There's actually a few other gens in here, which is also nice. So yeah, it's it's actually pretty nice. I have to have a play it myself to uh, get the full grasp of it. But that's essentially it. I mean, I'll be I'm definitely looking forward to playing it because who doesn't love a new Pokemon? Honestly, um, is going to have to tie us over until the apparent maybe sixth gen comes out with a whole bunch of other new Pokemon. I think we can hopefully choose get different Pokemon other than our oh, vanilla. Vanille, which is like an ice cream sort of Pokemon, among other ones. So that's pretty much it. Thought I'd give you a little update on what I've been up to. And I might actually upload a few videos of the expo because I haven't done that yet. It's quite a few of them, actually. Some of them did hit the cutting room floor for a number of reasons. One, they were crap. And two, let's be honest, I didn't really like them. So that's, that's it. Uh... I better get uploading, but I'll first upload this little video here. And that's it. So, Mr. Weston, out.